Hey everybody, it's Clone Clocks and then and I welcome back to more Dream Factory Heart Pounding Panic. In the last episode, we did level 6, or chapter 6, as Lena. In this episode, we're going to do chapter 7, the final chapter, as Mama. Let's go! She after 7, 1! And you might notice my lower life counter. Let's just say I had a, uh, I had a rather bad omen for how chapter 7 is going to go. Okay. Okay, so what's going to happen here is there's going to be a lot of Alba tosses that are going to be a lot dropping a lot of bombs, and they're also going to be blowing up this floor. So, kind of an interesting idea, but it's dangerous. And, uh, good thing they gave us that power block. Okay. Uh, magic lamp is already right here, so let's go ahead and put it right here because this is where the heart is. All right, let's go. I think it's just vegetables and those, uh, and those, uh, sprouts, so. Okay. See if I can, uh, block this up. No, I got hit, but we could, I threw it because I got hit. Uh, and here's a veggie. Ooh. Oh, wow. That's cool. Let's get in here. Now we gotta avoid these sparks as we go up. Okay. That was a magic lamp right here. And already we got both hearts. Alright, so... Uh, some people see, get confused on what you're supposed to do, uh, um, when you get here. Um, this is... Okay. You want to let, let that albatross fly over, and then you want to jump on it. There you go. Then you gotta jump over this. Uh, some stuff you gotta jump over here. Wow. Uh, and down here is the rocket. Alright, these cherries will definitely help, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab as many as I can. Because this part is kinda annoying. We got shy guys coming out of those, out of these pots, and, uh, they can hit us easily. And, as if they couldn't add even more insult to injury, they put a ninji up there, and a sniffet there. Uh, let me try... Actually, wait, no, I do not want to super jump that. Uh, there we go. Come on! We should probably like pick up a pick up the shy guy and bring it over to uh you bring it over there. There we go, that's how it's supposed to go. But watch me get but watch me dot but watch me get hit by the by the sniff it. Oh, I did it. Okay. Bye bye. And that sniff it cannot hit us. It's behind the wall. Now this part wasn't too hard if I if I remember. Actually, why did you super jump there? Oh, uh, he, spark, these sparks can really catch you off guard. Okay, what? Oh, I think I know what you gotta do here. You gotta, you gotta put. You got, you have to put one of them on top of each, put one of them on top of the other. Oh, 
Wait, what? Oh, okay. I thought I was going to stay on the top of the ladder. My bad. And here we go. Now we got to fight Birdo. Uh, with only one of these things. Color palette might make you think, might think it's pink, but nope, it's gray. Gray and green are the same. It's just the color palette issue. You. Okay. I was trying to figure out when I should throw that. There we go. Wait, she respawned? She shouldn't be able to respawn. You know what's kind of funny? Like, the number right there that shows how many coins you have is hexa... This hexadecimal. And, uh... It turns into the letters when it goes above nine. Chapter 7 2! But what is this? We are no longer playing as the ravishing mother that is actually the strongest tech, but rather now we are playing as. Well, the second strongest. Uh. Uh, yeah. Um. So I'm playing as Papa now for, um. For this last level because. There's only seven chapters in this game, and there's only two parts of Chapter 7. And I thought that playing as Mama for Chapter 7-1, uh, and Papa for Chapter 7-2 would be a good idea to evenly distribute the screen time. So, what do you know? The Batman's going to be carrying us through the end. Okay. Uh, I would compare this level to, uh... Um, the final levels of Super Mario Brothers and Super Mario Brothers The Lost Levels, where, um, I think there's a couple paths you can take, but, actually, no, I think there's, like, only two. But, I'm going to show you the best way to, uh, get to, oops, I, I'm going to show you the best way to get to the, uh, both hearts and, uh, both, uh, I'm gonna show you the best way to get to both hearts and to get and then to get to the end. So as you can imagine, this is where the final boss is. Oh, jeez, that was unexpected. Imagine if I imagine if Shy Guy spawned under me and carried me off the cliff. Okay. Uh ninjas. Wow, that was not. Cause over here we have ba -bums. Final area wouldn't be complete without those. We got pincers on under there, which is why I carried this guy here. Um, that worked. That also worked. Uh, going up here will take you to the first heart. There's, there's going to be sparks here that are kind of annoying. Okay, uh, to get to the heart, uh, there normally will be f four sparks here, but thankfully there was only two. Uh, jump up here and this is, and go out here. Now we're back outside. Uh, you can just jump down if you want. There's a pantser there and two tweeters. 
Now down here. Oh. Slow down. Sorry about that, guys. Professionally made machine here. Uh, I'm gonna put the lamp here. Well, actually, it doesn't really matter where you put it, because it, cause the whole room is on screen. And there you go. There's the heart. And I don't really think coins do anything. I'm just getting them just because. And it's a bomb. Okay. Uh, you could use the tweeter to get rid of the panzer, but... It... Oh, wow. Uh... Ow. Jump! I... Dude, if I get hit by this thing twice, I swear to God. You know what? Come here. There you go. Freaking NES controller. Or Famicom controller, even though I'm playing this with an NES controller, technically. Anything up here? Okay. Uh, you could, uh, get to where you want to go by going up there. You'll find, like, a power block and a bunch of spark. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go backwards. And you're definitely seeing a lot more sparks than we saw before. Just kind of has to do with, like, the draw distance thing. You can see, uh, this is where we just were. And me going off screen made the spark respawn. Great. And, sorry, it's just that there's sparks, two sparks behind me, and it's kind of hard to time, and when you got that, it's kind of hard to time when you want to, when I want to go. Okay, go now. Well, now we got these jerks to deal with. Thankfully, we've got plenty of lives, so we're not hurting too much if we die, or just hindered a little bit. Actually, wait, I could have just gone... Uh, okay. We can try to take out these sparks to get some hearts out of them. Before you go down, I would recommend you look, you uh, get that and just look down real quick. Because it could be sparks where you're not expecting them to be. Ah. Okay, I'm most likely going to get hit on this one. And... Whoops. Okay, oh, shy. Okay. That didn't exactly work. And there are no cherries in here, unfortunately. A Starman would be useful at this point. In my last run, I only got one of them. Uh... Oh, sorry about that. Uh, here's actually where the next heart is. This one? No, that's a bomb. <laughs> I, okay, I did, didn't mean to throw that, but I guess it works out all the same. There we go. And there we go. No more subspace for the rest of the game. Oh. You can climb these two, right? Yeah.
Okay. Uh, you can try to get these uh, cherries if you want, but I'm personally not going to go for them because that's why. Because the Starman appears in the wall. Nice game design there. Hey, no, come on. Get up there. Jeez. We can get those two easily. Okay, so, uh, here. Heading up here is the area to where the final boss is. Okay, oh, no, 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 no! Don't tell me I missed that thing because it went off screen. <sighs> okay, this part is a little bit tricky, I'll admit. Uh... Actually, if, if you were playing as another character, this probably wouldn't be so hard, but... Basically, I have to super jump up to that area. Okay. I really... Oh, I should You know what, actually? Hold on. You are my sacrifice. The snippet doesn't get in the way. Okay. There you go. That's what I wanted to, That's what I should have done before. Okay. So, uh... I just gotta avoid these jerks. And wow, that really messes with, the eyes when you, with your eyes when you stare at those conveyor belts for a while. Come on. Quit stalking me. I... Yeah, there we go. Now this area, I would hop up here because, uh, and like between there, this conveyor belt and this, because check it out, it's a red, it's red Birdo again. Birdo just will not let up, will she? Uh, but we can actually bypass her by uh, doing this. Now this music, uh, there's a power block back there if you want to. It may sound like the, uh, where the final boss is, but actually it's not. Uh, can I actually go up here? I, I didn't think that would be there. Okay, so there's a locked door there. There's sparks down there. Oh, shoot. Oh, wait, 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 no, 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 actually, never mind. Uh, we're good. If I head down here, we've got Red, we got Red Birdo again, and of course she hits me. Uh, and she's actually got a key with her, so... Oops. Yeah. Um, we, this Birdo, we actually had to defeat in order to move on, because as you can imagine, the boss is probably behind that, uh, behind that locked door. There we go. Now we've got the key. Head in here, and we can take out these sparks with it. And there we go, see ya Fanto. And here we go. The final boss is just beyond that mask gate. Let's pick this up, and now... Oh, what is this? The mask gate is attacking us now. Uh... Yeah, this is... Kinda creepy, I'll admit, but, uh... That's okay. Uh, it's not too hard. Just hit it three times, and there you go. We have been... We have been chewed up.
Now we head over here. Check this out. This is Wart, the final boss of uh, Dream Factory Heart Pounding Panic. He's going to uh, spit these bubbles out. You, you basically just have to um, avoid them. Uh, and you want, but you want to pick up these vegetables, uh, and you want to throw them uh, at him when his mouth is open. Uh, keep in mind, though, the bubbles will destroy the vegetables regardless if they're in the air, you're holding it, or if you're throwing them. See, um, the bubbles can't, the bubble cancel out the effect. So, uh, yeah, he's not that hard. He just, uh, I think he either, ta I think he takes like four hits. Your four hits are. Or Super Mario Wiki said six hits, but I think it's actually four. What? Ow, okay. Alright. Garlic. Ooh, what a final hit. If we get this with if we get him with garlic. Yep, there we go. One thing to know about the mask gate is that if you leave it unattended for too long, it will close back up. Then you gotta hit it three times again. Proof. Okay. Uh, so now we're here. Now, you're probably wondering why we're here. Well... I beat Papa, or excuse me, I beat Wart as Papa, and, uh, basically, Papa went into the, into the room and f opened and plucked the, the concrete from the, the vase, he really is the strongest, and he got the, and he freed the subcons that were trapped in there, um, and then it told you to switch to side A, but what that did was it actually just reset the game. Now I wondered why this was for a while, but then I found out that if that's like the uh if you want to see the full ending of this game, you actually have to beat chapter 7 to as all characters. So I went ahead and beat War as Imagine Lena and Mama, so I guess I guess Mama is going to be ending it off. She is my favorite character after all. And uh yeah, now that we've done, now that we've beaten War as every character, which I've done off screen, what happens now? That means the end. And there we go. That is the end of Dream Factory, Heart Pounding Panic, or its Japanese name, Yume Kojo Doki Doki Panic. You know what I just realized? If Doki Doki means heart pounding, that would mean the full English name of Doki Doki Literature Club would be Heart Pounding Literature Club. <laughs> I really should get back to playing that game, but at the same time, I'm kind of afraid of it. Um... So, uh, yeah. 
I gotta say, I actually really like this game. I love how it compared to uh, Super Mario Brothers, and yeah, I just really love the characters in this game, and I really wish they would appear in more things, but Nintendo does not own them, and I often, and I often wonder if they, if they are, are even used by Fuji Television today. But watch, I'm gonna visit I visit Japan, and all of a sudden I'm gonna see those characters everywhere. <laughs> now, there is one question that I wanna ask. What were Wart's intentions? Why did he pop out of a book and steal the twins if and put and lock them up in the dream factory? More importantly, what why did he lock up the subcons? What is it with this magical book anyway, and what are its origins? We may never know. Let's just listen to the music. Thanks a million. Push start to replay. So, uh, now that you've beaten every level, or excuse me, now that you've beat, you've beaten chapter 7, you can pretty much just choose whichever world you'd like to go to. Um, I gotta wonder if anything special happens if you beat, um, every level as every, every chapter as every character. If you guys know, you can let me know in the comments. Um, uh, but, uh, I think that's gonna do it for this LP. This was Dream Factory Heart Pounding Panic for the Famicom Disk System. This has been Celestine aka Clone Clux 99. Th thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next game in the Super Mario series. See you guys then.